Mrs. CP here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about things that you should either never ever pay for or items that you should never pay retail for. And I'm doing this video because I was out couponing and people were like, you don't actually get anything free. I mean, what's the point of couponing if you're just saving like 25 cents on a $10 item? I don't see the savings in that. But if you've been watching my videos, you'll see, I show you, I break it down on how to use those coupons with sales to maximize your savings. So we're going to go over some of the things that you should never pay for first. And if you watched any of my videos, you know I never pay for oral care. Mouthwash. I never pay for mouthwash. And if I do, it's usually like 25 cents or 50 cents. And this is like a $4 thing of mouthwash. I refuse to ever, 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 ever pay for toothbrushes. This week actually at Walgreens, I got paid to buy these toothbrushes. I got paid a dollar for every pack that I bought. I only bought three packs, but still. It's harder now than it used to be. Reach used to put out a dollar off of one coupons and they've, they've kind of stopped doing that. It's like 50 cents off of one or a dollar off of two. But never pay for floss even 50 cents is okay since coupons have now changed because of that show that used to be on that one network that I refuse to mention but to floss you never really need to pay for that and I have a ton of floss and it's a great thing to have because it's got a lot of uses and then of course toothpaste never pay retail for toothpaste you can always get it for free and you can majority of the time you can get paid to buy it Okay, next thing. <clears throat> makeup. I never pay for makeup. It's either free after a reward, or I'll get it like this one I got for 75% off and I had a coupon to go on top of it, so it made it for free. And just never pay for makeup. I don't even wear makeup, but I keep it around for gift baskets and things like that. I've got a lot of friends that have teenage girls, so they love to come and raid everything in there. Um, medications like pain relievers, stomach antacids, all that stuff, you should never ever pay full price for. You can get it on sale and there's always coupons out for this stuff. Sorry guys, I have to go over it. Feminine hygiene products. They go on sale all the time. There are always coupons. And actually, if I look inside this box, there are coupons inside the box. So never ever pay for feminine hygiene. And even if you're a guy, yes, it's good to have these on hand because they are good for other uses as well. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> body wash. Never pay full price for body wash. I actually got this free, I think, at Walgreens or CVS a while back. Never pay for body wash. And if not, I'll put a link in the description what my rock bottom price is of what I'm willing to pay for stuff. And I'll put a link in the description of all this stuff too if you want to print it out and keep it with you. Shampoo. I never pay more than a dollar for name brand shampoo. This one is the Clear Mint Scalp Therapy and a while back at CVS they had it on sale with a coupon and there was an Ibotta refund on it. So it made it completely free. Let's see. Lotions. I, I, I think I stocked up on these when I first started making videos. If you go way, way back, it was a CVS deal and these were completely free. So never buy lotion at full price. Max for like a big, big bottle of this, I'll maybe pay a dollar, dollar fifty. But that's like my max for it. Deodorant. Never pay full price for deodorant. You can generally get it for free a lot of times. This is actually free right now at um, the Dollar Tree. If your Dollar Tree carries them. There was a $1 off Brute coupon and these were of course a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And yes, the Dollar Tree does take coupons. Razors! Hello! Razors, razors, razors. There are 
hundreds of razor coupons out there, hundreds of them. And you're like, well, I only use a specific brand. I can guarantee if you look on a coupon database, you'll probably find a coupon for that specific brand that you use. I'm not a razor snob. I, I collect them, I use them, it doesn't matter. It removes the hair, that's all that matters. Soap, like this Dawn, I think I paid 25 cents for. So you never pay full price for like dish soap and laundry soap and all that. I, I didn't bring any laundry soap in here, but laundry soap is another big one. Never pay full price for laundry soap. It goes on sale all the time and there are always coupons. I am a laundry soap snob. I did just stock up on the Purex this past week because it was 60 cents a bottle and I can use it in an emergency case if I ever run out of my all. But I'm an all girl and whenever I see all on sale, I will stock up because I can usually get it for less than a dollar a bottle. Candy. If you buy candy for any reason whatsoever and you pay full price for it, you're wrong. Don't don't ever pay full price for candy. They go on sale at the drugstores all the time with extra care bucks and coupons and everything. You can get them for dirt cheap or free sometimes. And a lot of times at CVS you can't get them for free because it'll be like buy one at 99 cents get a 99 cents extra care book. Condiments. It is June so condiments are going to definitely be a time for me to stock up on stuff like the Vlasic. We had a coupon for a dollar off any pickle product and these were like 75 cents at Walmart so I got paid 25 cents to, to pick some of these up. And same with like ketchup and stuff like that and barbecue sauce. You're going to start seeing them on sale and they're going to be free for like the next couple months. Paper products. Never pay full price for toilet paper and paper towels. There are tons of coupons out for them and you stack that with a sale and you can get them for free. Which is... A lot better than paying like ten dollars for a pack of paper towels. I when it drives me nuts when I go into the grocery store and I see people around me with stuff in their cart, paying full price for stuff. I just want to like hand them coupons and tell them, hey, you can get that for a lot cheaper, or go and get the other brand. It's a lot cheaper. But and sometimes I do. I hand out coupons while I'm in the grocery store if I see somebody that has stuff that I have coupons for. But never pay for paper towels and toilet paper. Pasta. Oop. Never pay full price for pasta. As you can see, I've actually vacuum sealed all my pasta. And if you do have a stockpile of pasta, make sure you vacuum seal it at the least, because they will. They. You'll come in one day and you'll have a bunch of weevils in there, and you'll have to get rid of it and fumigate and all that fun stuff. And I don't want to deal with that. So when you buy pasta on sale, get. A vacuum sealer it, it's the best investment you can make if you have a stockpile of food items but pasta i pay anywhere from 25 cents to 50 cents depending on what type of pasta it is loofahs i i have hundreds of loofahs um ego tools which is a brand it's a like a makeup tool brand they generally will put out one dollar off on coupons printable coupons and these little loofahs at Walmart are like 97 cents, so I got paid to buy loofahs. Let's see. Let's see what else I have in my bag. Yes, and I have a bag that I got for free too. Um, but this is all the free stuff I get in the mail. But that's for a whole nother video. But magazines and stuff. Never, never pay full price for magazines. If you're looking for a particular type of magazine, just search. I can guarantee you'll probably find a discount on that magazine for a subscription, or you can get a free subscription a lot of times. But those are the things that I, I refuse to ever pay full price on and things I refuse to pay for, period. With the way that coupons are changing and more and more people are getting caught with coupon fraud and it's a lot harder these days than it was a year or so ago when I first started couponing to get a lot of things for free, but you can still get things for free if, if you shop right and you check the sales and you clip those coupons. So that is what I've got for you guys today. So be sure to subscribe and follow us on Facebook and happy prepping.